introduction of stone skipping. Today in our sports encyclopedia series, we talk about stone skipping, so let's begin. The game involves players throwing stone with a flat surface across the body of water, making it spring off the surface of the water. The basic objective of the game is to make the stone bounce in water as many times as an individual can before it sinks. How to play stone skipping? Stone skipping is a game that can be played both individually and in teams. In the team format of stone skipping, each team has four members of any age and gender. Each member of the team is given one throw. In the individual format of the game, each player is given three chances to throw the stone in the river. The stones used for skimming are not more than three inches in diameter and are formed naturally of slate. Players are given the freedom to throw their stones however they find feasible. For a throw to be considered legal, the stone must bounce no less than three times and stay within the designated lane as marked by the buoys. The target for the players is to throw the stones in a way that they bounce in water as many times as possible before settling down. A referee keeps track of the score of all the players and announces it in the end. How to win in stone skipping? The team or the individual with the maximum number of bounces is declared as the winner. Friends, this is just an overview of the game, but if you'd like to know more about the rules of stone skipping, comment down below. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.